What's happening, creative people? Ella up on set from ksound.com. I'm on my laptop this time, and um, you're just looking for something different. You you guys know me, something just weird sounds, whatever. So I started playing with this reactor, and so this video is to kind of show you how or why Studio One is really, really awesome to me. This thing right here is the uh, me metaphysical functions, I, I believe that's what it is. And so immediately it start making these weird noises just right out of the box. Let me power this on. So as you can see, there's this a bunch of presets I can switch between. You know what I'm saying? I like this sound right here. To get that sound, that's what I want, that sound. Without doing anything further, to get that sound, this is a way to do that. So first you have to go and pull up a audio track, and we're just going to print it straight onto the audio track just from, from the instrument itself. I thought I had to do like a busing and routing things, whatever, but... I'm just looking at this. Okay, when we we're in the audio settings, right? And my input, okay, at first it was mono. So by default, it's going to be the input of your device or your interface. So in my situation, I have one through eight, right? But I'm like, no, that's not what I want. And I just switched it to stereo. And I think anything that's in stereo input wise is going to pop up. So what do we have here? We have reactor reactor as my stereo input. So let's go ahead and add that in. So basically when I activate this and let's arm it, you can see that I'm getting signal. And so what I want to do is actually record this. I'm going to turn off the, the clicker because I don't need it. So right now I'm just recording the signal. Matter of fact, I could turn this down so it won't be so loud. And I can turn up the, there we go. And for the sake of the video, I don't want to blast you guys' ears. So I'm going to turn down the master. And I'm actually turn up the, you know what I'm saying? Turn that down. And at some point, I'm going to take a selection and start playing around with that and make a beat according to what we hear right now. So I think that's good enough. Bring in impact here and see what we what we have in the presets here. Krungzilla always kind of do something pretty cool for me. Highlight them at one time. Cause everything tends to be extra hot. And let's see, let's see what we, we'll come up with. Let's find a hi hat over here. Let's go for hat, and I could just always drag it over. I like that one. So I'm going to replace that one. Right? Just drag that over. Probably transpose it down some. And then we're going to turn our note repeat on. You know what? It might just be better just to draw it in. But because I just remembered that I don't have 
my note repeat key commands that I have set up on my bigger computer. Something like that, right? Get rid of the, the first whatever. So when we come here like that, right? Get rid of that one. And that's pretty much, you know what I'm saying? And you can go wherever you want to go and just using like weird sounds. I'm not going to leave this sound just raw like that. I'm going to come in and use some effects. And there tends to be like little clip or clicks in the beginning and the end since I, you know, kind of chopped it or whatever. So what we're going to do here is go to, um, I'm telling y'all, I love this red light distro, the red light distortion I don't know I like to call it district for some reason it because it, it, it looks like a district you know what I'm saying the plug-in look like it comes off of a sign in the district area so I usually like to call it red like district it's just easier but it's actually a distortion or distro I, I don't know I just I don't know I like the old radio sound. And then, you know, I can go for a bass line somewhere. I don't know. You know, just be creative. Two, three, four. one wrong no mistake and we can go and fix that real quick there we go and I could go on and on and on and on you know what I'm saying I don't want to prolong but just showing you guys how you can be creative another way to be creative as a matter of fact um just like recording weird sounds from your plugins if you don't have a way to actually um you know lay chords or whatever i know reactor there tends to be a lot of things in there that just pops at you know it pops out at you immediately you know what i'm saying this is another one. Now this time nothing is popping out at you, but you guys get the point. <laughs> you guys get the point. This one you actually actually have to play. Damn, and, and and this is pretty. You know what? Let me let me end this video so I can go ahead and play. All right, my name is Ella. I hope you guys gained something from this video. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Yeah, subscribe.